Let's jump ahead a little bit here. Tell everybody as we're giving an overview too. You know, antelope is, is certainly <clears throat> very good in this area, but you're also very, very well known for some really, really nice deer hunting and also some pretty darn decent plains elk hunting. Yeah, yeah, there's me, the, the deer are my love, as you as you yeah. know, you've known me for a few years and the deer are my love. We kill some awfully, awfully good bucks and we're awful picky on what we allow guys to shoot and, and uh We've got an influx of whitetail in here. We're killing some awful good whitetails now. Just had a, a bow hunter kill a, uh, an awful good whitetail a couple of days ago. We're seeing more whitetail, but the mule deer, there's some dandies in here, <laughs> <laughs> as you well know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, you know they're they're uh, uh, good big plains deer. They're mm -hmm. they're like you know. I, I mean they're, oh, they're 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 built like quarterbacks or well, more like linebackers. Well, excuse they me. Are. Yeah. They are. Well, uh, it's you know like. All these animals in here are very healthy. You know, they're living off alfalfa alpha and oats fields, and you know they, they eat good. And their genetics are great. Your age class is good because it's restricted. Also, this right. has been a draw area. I started hunting here in the early '80s, and it was a draw area back, back then, then when everything else, a lot of the rest of the state was over the counter. So this has always been a restricted. So it's perpetuated a good right genealogy, so to speak. Uh, you know, of, of genes are strong. Monster here. bucks. There's some monster big, big bucks. bucks. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we, we drove around and got to see a few of that, you know, a few, just a sampling of it. Again, he's very right. You look in one area and you say there's nothing there right now. Well, okay. Well, just kind of like Mark Twain said about the weather in Colorado, you don't like it, wait five minutes or come back later in that afternoon and you go, where were these all hiding? Where did they come from? And now they're out in the fields and everything. And trust me, I mean, down in some of the river bottoms and the draws, mm -hmm. things like that, I mean, they seem to really cluster up pretty good yeah yeah they do and, and you know sometimes better than it, than others this year uh, we've had an extreme amount of rain mm -hmm. wonderful for everything out here I'm glad to see it it's gonna make hunting tougher because the food is everywhere, everywhere. I mean, they, <laughs> food and water everywhere it's, you know it's gonna make it even more of a hunt because a lot of times all of our animals are pretty much around the green fields and, yeah and you know out from there during the day now they are everywhere they want country, to be so uh, you know, we see a lot of elk. We're seeing a lot more elk in here all the time, and our elk are... are well, one of those little towns that we went through last evening, there was a big whitetail mm -hmm. at the Walmart. And I right. thought, what are they doing, putting the greeter out on the corner for you now? You right, know? well, it's hunting season. You need a greeter that, that <laughs> I was going to say, he should have had a sign hanging around right. his neck, you know, book with Kiowa Creek Outfitters right. or something. Right. Yeah, you know? they, uh, they're, uh, they're, there's, there's a lot of, lot of game out here, period, of uh -huh. all types. Uh, you know, it's not over. Talk to me a little bit about the elk hunt. Again, that's the same thing. I don't have to draw a tag, do now I? Now, that's, that's really a jewel that this we is, have. Th this is unreal to me, but go ahead. We have a season out here. Uh, the five-year plan is in order right now. I don't know that they've uh, adopted it yet. But as of now, right now, we have a five-month-long season out here that's an over-the-counter. Not five-day, not five-week, five five so. We're not being misquoted. Right. Five month elk season. It's September 1st to January 31st. Elk. Lordy mercy. It's an over the counter tag and it's an either sex tag as of right now. Okay. Once again, they're in their five year season structure. So if they change something, then it will be changed after now. But that way, you know, you can literally hunt elk in the rut with a rifle. <laughs> which usually in oh, the mountains. Oh, twist my arm. Yeah. yeah. Ow, ow. Oh, hurt me. Yeah. Hurt me. Uh -huh. Usually in the mountains, that takes how no. many years? Oh. 20 years to draw a tag like that? <clears throat> well, you put in at your 21st birthday, and by the time you're 42 or 43, you, you're you hoping might. you're still physically fit enough because right. you got enough preference points that you can pull a tag on right. something like that. And, there's, you know, and again, the beauty is it's all private land hunt. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you don't go buy a tag if they haven't booked with you mm -hmm. because they're not going to have access to it. Right. But you I, I hear that got all the, time. the access. Right. Huh? Right, I got the access now. You know, like I say, I hear it all the time. I, I've got a tag out in your unit, you know, and I can't find a place to hunt. Well, well how you're about not that? Going to find a place to hunt? Uh -huh. You shouldn't have drawn a tag because uh, it's most of it's taken up. There. And this is this is part of the reason why, for over the years and years and years, you've built a reputation of being able to work with the ranchers and the farmers, and they trust you, and they know that you're going to respect their property. Right. And you know, well, yeah, sure, you're gonna you're gonna buy an elk hunt, but you don't have to buy it for you know 11,000 feet where there's nothing to breathe I mean we're down here in the 6,000 foot level and it's a it's a lot easier right you know? well and you know I, I've through the years I've had several guys you know come through that I've guided and, and had that uh, oh I've hunted elk for 11 years I've never seen one well, <laughs> 
I'm not. So you, you, no, got, you, you yeah. got 30 minutes. Well, there, that's not. It's not that <laughs> easy. It's not a slam dunk. But you know, what actually, I mean? we've already seen some elk. So, and it yeah. didn't take very long to at least right. spot them. We didn't hunt them, but we spotted them. Right. And so, and that's the glorious thing. You know, what I'm doing on elk and have been for the last couple of years because elk are such a nomadic animal. Yes. Yeah. If you're booked in here for, for like an antelope hunt or a deer hunt, mm -hmm. and we know that there's elk there, we mm -hmm. can run down to the local store and you can purchase the license. Just like that. And then we can go hunt the elk. So you don't have to buy the license. You don't have to, if the elk aren't here, because if, if the elk aren't here. Yeah, if you're an out of stater, you don't want to put out the extra couple hundred dollars or yeah, whatever it elk. is. And you know, mm -hmm. and if you wanted some of these guys, I've got some guys coming in this week that are interested in just meat because elk is fantastic table oh, fare, yes. as you well know. Oh yes. And there's some cow tags available that are private land only cow tags that they can buy and kill a cow at a very economical price. You know, mm -hmm. we got to have something for the company. That's just the way it is. But uh, or if they want to go after a good bull, like the gentleman over the drove counter. all the way in from Richmond, Virginia. He'd mm -hmm. never. He'd never shot an elk before. Right. He wanted the meat, right. and he was tickled pink that he went home with a nice big fat cow. Didn't Absolutely, he? that's what he came for was a cow, and he killed a cow the first day. And it doesn't always happen that way, but <laughs> uh, you know, they, there's, there's, there's once again a target rich environment. That's what you, yeah. I said that's what I think we need to stress to everybody is that the game is here. It is, here. It is available on this, you know, right. on these lands through Kiowa Creek Outfitters mm -hmm. and. Well, like I say, you know, as you have you've already said, you know, mule deer or deer are my mainstay. Yeah, that's, that's, your, that's your bloodline. The, yeah, yeah, that's my bloodline. That's what makes me pump. And, uh -huh. and you know, my, I got a couple guys that just love elk hunting, and we're all liking antelope hunting because mm -hmm. it's such it's so fun too. You know, yeah. if you miss, you go over the next hill, and more than likely you can get another <laughs> shot at it. <laughs> and another, you know. and another. Well, if you're mm -hmm. that bad, we got to go back to the range. But <laughs> you know, it's. Uh, it's a good mix of what we have here because some guys just live and breathe elk and mm -hmm. of course I'm the deer guy and they're, you know, they're, those guys are great at deer also, but I'd look around them elk to see the deer and they look around the deer to see the elk. So it, it works real good. As we wrap this up, if people like more information about the opportunities, the seasons, you know, the costs and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, obviously, you've got a very comprehensive website that you can send them it's to. It's simple, Trophy but I'm a simple man. Trophy pictures and whatever. Right, yeah. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. how would, how would you, where would you send them? Uh, website's www.huntkiowacreek.com, and that's H-U-N-T-K-I-O-W-A-C-R-E-E-K.com. Mm -hmm. And as I said, with a five-month elk season, if you've not seen an elk, if you think that the elk is the elusive animal that we only hear about, you know, that's up there in the high mountains where Rocky Mountain Television is headquartered, and oftentimes it seems like they are, uh, down here, we have seen antelope. We have seen the mule deers, the white tails. We've seen the elk. Um, I think Dan really is in very many ways sitting on what truly has to be a hunter's paradise. Well, Dan, thanks for taking the time. I guess we're going to hit the field now, see if we can maybe put the whoop on an antelope and uh, maybe talk to a few of the others about some of their hunts and their adventures and why they keep coming back year after year. Take a standby, everybody. We'll be back with more here on Outdoor Adventures.